Howdy. <laughs> Howdy. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> What's the plan, Manny? You know what I to think do. you already know what the plan is <laughs> if we look like this. So yeah, the plan is uh, we're taking this to the Nibbergring. Uh, we decided the Nibbergring doesn't have enough freedom and we need to bring some freedom up there. So we're going to load up our freedom convoy, which consists of my Raptor and the Viper. And then we're gonna drive seven hours to the Notchlife because it's Car Friday on Friday, which is a big event up there and there's many people supposed to be here. And yeah, I think it would be a fun idea to bring the Viper. We've actually been two times to Nürburgring already. And I think we all know how last time went and how we nearly died. So I thought it would be a good idea to bring my most dangerous and horrific and terrifying car to drive to the Nürburgring, which, yeah, we'll honestly see how that goes. I think it's gonna be like, Probably the worst idea ever, but as you already know me, I live for really bad ideas. Because first of all, the Viper itself, it's a very hard car to drive. I think we can all agree on that. Second thing, it's gonna be Car Friday, which is basically the definition of chaos. There's thousands of people in and around the track, and then I have to wiggle my, my way through with the Viper. And the third thing, it's supposed to rain all days that we're up there. So we're gonna be there on Thursday and Friday. <laughs> we have a track day on Thursday and then Car Friday on Friday, and it's supposed to rain on both days yeah but at least i i look very nice i dressed adequately money as well <laughs> money looks like whistling diesel or a trucker <laughs> dave <laughs> we we'd be breaking stuff yeah but we don't drive like this up there yeah i do <laughs> <laughs> what okay so yeah let's start the viper uh, i haven't really started the car in like four months so i hope it's going to start at least yeah now we have to load it up onto the trailer and then we're off seven hours of driving today it's pretty late already so it's gonna be a pain in the ass but uh, we'll see how that goes. Also, by the way, before we start driving and everything, please appreciate how clean the Viper is. I think the car has never been as clean as it is right now in its all entire life. Yeah, the people at Glanz World Munich, they did a good job once again. They cleaned it over the winter time to make it beautiful for the racetrack on Friday, on Thursday. Thank you, Glanz <laughs> All right, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm so excited and nervous at the same time, honestly. I did not sleep for the last like three days. I was always checking the weather and the weather got worse every time I checked. <sighs> yeah, let's go. First step is getting through border control here. We look like the absolute fucking rednecks. I wonder what they're going to say to us. It's going to be... Howdy. <laughs> All right, we made it. Yeah, so welcome to Germany, baby. Let's bring Germany some good old fashioned for you. I've traveled this big world, lonesome I have roamed. I've laid down in green pastures, I've rolled down rocky roads. As my hair turned silver, I lost my lust for gold. Now cups of wine can't satisfy the thirst within my soul. <laughs> yeah, we're still 
on the road. <laughs> <laughs> we have like four hours to go. Four? <laughs> oh my god. But it's very comfortable, I can't complain. Yeah. I unbuttoned my shirt a little bit and put it out of my pants. No, it's very nice. Mani is also having the time of his life. Trucker Mani. Yeah, so I think we see you guys at the gas station and then at the Nordschleife in a few hours. Yeah, we made it to Nürburgring like eight hours later and I was really happy. I thought we could take a cool picture underneath the Nürburgring logo now, but uh, these assholes, they fucking turned it off. <laughs> they turned off the Nürburgring for us. God damn it. Yeah, now we have to drive back home. <laughs> now we park the car now and we go to sleep and we unload the wiper tomorrow and then we take some nice pictures tomorrow. I'm honestly quite tired, but it's okay. I'm happy that we are here finally. It's very, very nice. Now where do we park the Freedom Chariot? This is as close to the Never Green sign as we could get. Yeah, it's three in the morning now. Uh, oh. <laughs> We're gonna go sleep. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Then we unload the Viper, we seal up. Mm -hmm. By the way, the track day starts at 7 a.m. But I already told them we're not going to be there at 7 a.m. <laughs> uh, I think I saw the video on TikTok. I think it was a, a hurricane, if I remember. Or an R8 or something like that. I hope that's not me tomorrow. <laughs> Wonderful good morning, guys. I literally slept for four hours because I woke up so early because my room is right on the edge of the building. And all I heard was all the cars starting up and going to the racetrack. Exactly like that, but a bit, a bit louder as well. We are the last ones as always. I am honestly very nervous. I will tell you later why, but I think you can already guess why I'm nervous. <laughs> so first things first, we have to get the Viper off the trailer, get the trailer off the Raptor maybe, fuel up the Viper, take some fancy pictures in front of the Nürburgring logo, and then fill up my tires with air, and then hopefully we can hit our first lap on the world famous Nürburgring that we came all the way from Freedom Land to explore. By the way, for today, uh, I am uh, ultimate freedom bringer here. What the fuck? That's a little surprise. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Social. Yeah, uh, everybody should know that we don't fuck around here. Also, we just talked to a random fan here and he told me that they try to steal cars here in this parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, American have fun. They don't fuck around with American freedom, obviously. They try to steal the good cars, like Porsche, they don't want this. <laughs> no. <laughs> The Viper kind of sounds like a old truck as well when it's idling. Yeah. So I really feel like I'm on my farm back in Michigan. Also, this parking lot exit will be very interesting with the Viper, I think. Yeah. Also, jack engine lights lighting up and my tires are lighting up. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, very important. So let's take a picture very quick and then we're off. Yeah. You see how not stancy the other Viper was. <laughs> yeah. That has a reason. My car will literally scrape on the entire Nürburgring. I can't wait for it. All right, let's go to the racetrack. I miss the smell of tires. 
tires in the morning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the one thing you don't have in winter, you don't have the tires smell. Perfect. Yeah, we officially made it to the racetrack. Uh, parking spot at least. <laughs> yeah, these are the strangest burgers I've ever seen. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, it's good. What do you think about your colleague? He has four point harnesses. Racing gloves? Yeah, I'm jealous. So, what are we looking for? Enemies or? I don't even know. I'm just looking to see what car is faster than me and probably it's gonna be every car. They will take this so seriously here. Yeah. They don't know that we are here. We're going to go on the racetrack now for a first couple of laps. Honestly, I'm a bit scared. I've done many stupid stuff. I jumped my Raptor, I jumped the Pre-Runner, I jumped Motus Fiat, I drifted <laughs> Monaco, I drifted in the winter. But driving the Viper on the notch life, uh, in these conditions today, it's very cold. My car is not prepared at all. It's too low. Yeah, that's a bit sketchy, but I think it's gonna be fun. Also, the tricky part about the Rochelle itself is a really nice racetrack, but it's so long, and you need to get at least, I think, 100 laps to know where the track is going. Yeah. And that's my problem. I have no idea where the track is going. I've been here two times. We know how it nearly ended last time, and I don't want it to end this way today as well. No. Well, yeah, let's go for some chill laps. I'm not going to defend the Viper freedom of driving under seven minutes around the racetrack. <laughs> so I think it's the white Viper's sky job to do that today, not mine. We're just here to have fun, okay? And I want to drift like those two tight corners, maybe. But we'll see that later, if that works or not. Thank you. Ah, close. Okay, this is very important today. Yeah, this is a very scary moment for me today. Ay, ay, ay. My helmet visor just open, doesn't stay open.
my rear diffuser because I think it's gone. Yeah. I just keep hitting it and hitting it and hitting it. The plastic is yeah. gone, I think, already. Also, we have to look at the brakes because they flashed up. But the car didn't even get warm. No, nothing. Yeah, the first, I think it was three laps, were quite a big success. <laughs> It was very much fun. Uh, we're heading out for a second turn now. Still as nervous as I was in the first lap, and I'm not gonna go as hard because I'm honestly done. Oh, and also there's a yellow flag because there was a big accident. So now we have to be careful. myself sick right now I don't know how that works but I would like to throw up right now <laughs> uh, it's so hot as well in here Passenger. I was driving in the racetrack and I already thought I'm going to die if you drive my car in the racetrack. 
because that's for the views. I'm already <laughs> dying when I'm driving myself. Yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, it's give me five minutes to cool down. Yes. To cool myself down, the car is not even warm, and then we should be good. Let's go. I'm scared of Misha driving the car now. Is it good? Yeah, but that's what I'm scared of. It's going to drive really fast. I'm not a good passenger, and it's a really scary racetrack to be a passenger on, especially in this really scary car. You've been excited about that. Yo. Oh fuck, the clutch is not as fun. The pedals are tiny. Like everything in this car <laughs> except the engine. And the wing. And the wing, yeah. <laughs> I don't puke or something, I don't know. So we put it in R of race, right? Yeah, R for racing. It's like a truck. Good leg day, the clutch is nice and tight. It's crazy. Also the shifting and stuff, you'll feel it. You have to watch the oil pressure a little bit sometimes. Okay. Uh, that's my second engine. The first engine blew up because I didn't have enough oil pressure on the Red Bull ring, yeah. Exciting. You have to go easy on me. Well, the first lap will do easy to warm up everything because it's very cold. Okay, the whole car just feels so weird. Also, if you push the gas, it just holds it for so long. Really? Because of the displacement, I think. Interesting. Does it have traction? Yes. And how do we switch it somewhere uh, away? Do you want to have like track? Yeah, let's do for track for now so we don't die ourselves completely. But Okay, then we do like maybe sport mode. Yeah, yeah. Because PS4S on the rear, cold, yeah. need to have all the driver excuses.
<laughs> well, let's hope video gets enough enough views so we can uh, AdSense that. Yeah. <laughs> survived me too barely <laughs> but uh, almost doesn't count so we just survived thank you very much anyway thank you oh. a real lifetime goal of mine to drive an acr and uh, especially in these special conditions i'm glad i could make it happen but i'm also glad it's over now <laughs> That was the craziest thing I've done in a very long time. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> I need like two hours of break now, I think. Get get a Coke. Sugar yeah. helps you. Yeah. To I need like that. 20 Cokes, I think. <laughs> All right. Um, just a battle scar. <laughs> Too much downforce. I'm actually quite surprised it even held up. Wahnsinn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a few hours later. We just had some really nice pizza to eat. It started raining. You can see it here a little bit, but it's uh, it is even worse in the far off sides of the track. So the track is wet now, which honestly, I don't want to die. So we're not going to drive on the track. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to fuel up the wiper first, and then we're going to do a little sightseeing trip around the Nordschleife and do some things that I've always wanted to do. So that's going to be fun as well, I think. I've had like four hours of sleep, and those two laps with Misha, they destroyed me. I, my body has never felt this way before in my entire life. Uh, and now the pizza. I'm highly lactose intolerant and I ate pizza. I don't know what to say. Ah, look at that. Honestly. <laughs> this is cool than better to see. You see so many cool cars here. Yeah. There was an R34 GTR, you see a new GT3 RS. Also, I think the Viper still has the bigger spoiler than the GT3 RS. Yeah. Which makes my ego very much bigger. <laughs> sightseeing tour around the Nordschleife while it's starting to rain. drive back to the track and we're gonna go watch a little bit I've always wanted to do that I never really got the chance to and yeah so now we can just chill a little bit maybe later in the evening we go for another lap with something else in the Viper and then tomorrow it's gonna be crazy because tomorrow is gonna be car Friday 
where there's going to be so many people honestly and I think it's going to be very interesting to see so I'll see you guys later yeah so it's now a few hours later so as it's raining right now the track day itself is already over but we still have Touristenfahrten left and I have a ticket for two laps on Touristenfahrten I don't really want to drive the Viper in the rain but we have a plan B and we're gonna do that I hope it's going to work honestly <laughs> we're not quite sure if you can drive it on the ring but we're gonna try it anyway <laughs> so yeah see you guys in a few minutes we have to give this back and then yeah we'll be let's back let's go Pick up slider seit diesem Jahr nicht mehr. Warum? Gruß. Tut uns leid. Jetzt hier möchtest du aber Österreich hergefahren. Tut mir leid. Hätte du vorher mal lesen müssen. Oh. Ist ja Performance Pickup. Nee. Oh Mann. Tut mir leid. Manni, machst du einfach die zwei auf? Ah. Ah. I paid 60 Euro. You for nothing. <laughs> for two laps and they turned. They want me I am not allowed to drive with the pickup here. I would have loved to get, went there with my pick. This would have been so much fun. Yeah. I already practiced sliding in those corners down there. Yeah. Because I thought we could slide the Raptor around. Yeah, since we can't really drive with the Raptor here on the track like we're supposed to, we're just gonna go drive back to the hotel because we're still pretty tired from the arrival yesterday. And we're gonna go sleep for a couple of hours and then... <laughs> Otherwise, we're gonna see each other tomorrow in the morning for Car Friday. Which I'm already pretty excited for it because I've never experienced it live and I heard it's gonna be crazy. Yeah. I hope. So let's go sleep. Wonderful good morning. It's now a few hours later. We are very well rested. Uh, I can't wear my outfit anymore because yesterday in the evening I had some currywurst and some of the currywurst dripped on my lovely shirt. So yeah, but I'm still representing America and freedom. I have my Metallica shirt underneath, which I can't show you. <laughs> so today is Car Friday. It's going to be very interesting. We've never really seen it. There's a lot of cars already I already see the police so first of all we're just gonna drive around we're gonna go grab everything that we need today we're gonna need water we're gonna need something to eat because it's gonna be pure chaos from what I've heard I've heard there's gonna be traffic jams everywhere you can't go anywhere you can't drive anywhere so it's perfect we're used to it already from Wettersee let's only hope that there's enough action like at Wettersee today it's still wet because it rained the whole night maybe we can go for one lap around Nordschleife because I still have two laps from when they didn't let us drive yesterday with the Raptor but yeah let's see I'm a bit scared honestly not because of the track but I don't want anybody crashing into my Viper honestly because the thing about Car Friday is that it's open to anybody today so anybody who has a car except guys with pickups obviously <laughs> anybody who has a car that can drive on a Nordschleife now and I don't really want the Miata or something hitting my Viper or oh, so, a Fiat 500 yeah something like that so we'll see let's go let's drive around really quick get our supplies and then hopefully everything will fill up this is the roundabout by the way we were sleeping up here yesterday or trying to sleep on like 6 p.m. and all we heard was cars doing donuts here and accelerating into that way so now they blocked up the roundabout for today I don't know who would drift the roundabout must be a crazy guy <laughs> let's go yeah so we finally managed to get into the car oh shit it's Paul Walker oh Brian Spielner <laughs> quite many people already here um, it's 8 in the morning look at this people are already sitting there that's Crazy. It's still four degrees out. <laughs> I want to experience this today like a normal person does. I want to drive around at first. Yeah. I want to show the people the Viper because I think they want to see it. Then I want to see the track. I want to see people driving on the track. Yeah. I want to see what's driving in the street. And I want to see some action. And if I don't see any action, we're going to have to do some action on our own. <laughs> I think that sounds like a good plan. Yeah. On every exit, there's people standing. I know, I just started my car and I'm not allowed to do anything. They are here with their own fucking tent yeah. and everything. They didn't believe me that the car, that the Viper was like this from factory yesterday. Until we showed them all the papers and everything. And yeah. finally googled for them what a Viper ACR is. <laughs> Extreme. Because they said there's no way that this is like this from factory. But there is a way, obviously. Yeah. Now we only need to find the Viper. What's this a moosey right? Foods? <laughs> By the way, this is the gas station of Lodge Life if you're wondering right now where we are. <laughs> so what, did? what? I feel like it's the beginning of the apocalypse. They told us to stock up on, on man, man, many supplies and I feel like I should just take everything with me today because they told us it's going to be crazy but right now there is nothing happening. But still, let's take supplies with us. <laughs> yeah, 
Hallo. Keine Sorge, mit so in der Nee, ich hab nicht, deswegen, ich hab Durst. Ach so. Ach so. Ich auch. Sie du sichern sich auch noch etwas. Ich hab auch Durst. Ich cache hier auch so nichts zum Water, bevor der Storm kommt. Ich dachte, sie sah mich, ich putte es in meinen Jacket. Nächstes Jahr ist es going to be us. With some unnecessary car in the back. Servus. It's to our friends and they're all driving import cars all r34 gtrs and stuff like that yeah we're a bit the old ones out once again but i think we're gonna go for a lap or maybe drive around the notch life i don't really know well we'll see i'll take you guys with us our friends from tj imports they are specialized on importing jdm vehicles so my big fat american car is just perfect for today so we've arrived here i'm gonna eat a little snack now oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The R34 is broken. So they have to fix the yeah. There are two other R34s. And we're gonna do a lap around the Nürburgring once we fix this one here. A chill lap. But it's still gonna be pretty cool. So, yeah. Let's fix it. <laughs> As you can already see, the car is running again. Uh, we fixed everything. <laughs> and by we, I mean we were sitting up there and watching him fix the car. Uh, we are all going to drive to the racetrack now, to Nürburgring, to go for one chilled lap. I think it's going to be pretty cool with both R34s in front of us and also the Viper. I mean, it's the old one out right now because we will mostly have JDM cars and we have Jan with his electric Porsche. <laughs> I don't know what's worse, honestly. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> we're gonna see how it goes, we're gonna go sit in traffic jam for a few minutes and then we're gonna hit the track, so let's go.
taking a shit right now in the bushes it's just traffic jam simulator right here it's crazy thank you you saved my ass <laughs>
watch your DR owner. Watch your DR owner. Thank you guys. Thanks. Next time also with my GTR. Yeah, that's so cool. Now we're standing on the fucking racetrack. Yeah, so now the next waiting begins. I think it's gonna be like one hour, maybe one and a half hours. Because we have to wait to get off the track and there's a traffic jam again on the track. Yeah, glad it was not you, money. <laughs> I think the R34 GDR is having some issues now. Oh, we don't have any fuel anymore. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I'm wondering if it's the first time that a car has been maintained on the notch left. <laughs> uh, I've lost money. I hope he's not on the toilet again. <laughs> Gonna go drive off the track now, get something to eat, and maybe see if we can be of any help with the R34 GTR. But honestly, I don't think so. We all know my mechanical talent is not very well, so. Ah! Yeah, so one hour of waiting later, we made it off the track. I'm going to grab something to eat right now because honestly, I haven't eaten the whole fucking day and I'm so hungry, you can't imagine. <laughs> so I just did a U-turn and the security guy is not happy about it, I think. Brut zum Auto von. Ja, passt. Streckenverbot, hat er gesagt. So we're not allowed to drive on the racetrack anymore, forever or today, I don't know. Because I just did a U-turn because I'm really hungry and I want my pizza. And he wanted to guide me the other way, but yeah, like I already said. I'm really hungry and I didn't have time for his shit, but it's okay. We go eat pizza now and then hopefully we'll find some action later today. Yeah, so we had some nice quick dinner, I guess. It's actually not the first time of me seeing one of the new ones, but it still amazes me. First time seeing one in green though, and I have to say this color is really amazing. I, mean, I think that the Viper has a bigger wing though, at least one thing. Okay, so yeah, now we're off to the hotel. Gonna go relax a little bit and then hopefully in the afternoon. Hey! <laughs> hopefully in the evening we can go have some adventure time one more time. Yeah. Also look at the lineup in front of the uh, rehearsal one, it's pretty cool. We have the Koenigsegg in the back there, my Viper, a Mercy Lago and a Supra back there. <laughs> That's also pretty cool, Viper and Mercy. Perfect man. Hey, have fun guys. Stay safe. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it was a bit later than expected, but we're going to go to sleep now and tomorrow. What's up, man? I'm gonna go to sleep now and tomorrow we drive back home. So I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, next year again, hopefully with the R34 or something else. Let's go to sleep.
was the same cop from yesterday actually <laughs> and he saw some stories of me drifting today but it was not me driving <laughs> your stuntman it was my stuntman yeah and he was not so happy it is what it is i had to pay 40 euro for license plates again and he told me no more drifting i'm not going to drift anymore don't worry <laughs>